Hi guys, so in this video, I will walk you step by step on how to create this for moving photo Instagram trending lyrics edits using a short video editor. So before we begin this video, 90% of my viewers on this channel are subscribed to the channel. Please guys, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that I don't miss out anytime I upload new tutorials on this channel. Also, make sure you watch the video all to the end so that you don't miss out on any vital steps in creating this trendy lyrics edit. So with that being said, let's dive right into the video. Open in shots, go to collage. Then select a blank photo. Now go to canvas. Select this film aspect ratio. Now change the background to black. Go to background. Select black. Now the next step is to add the photos one after the other. Go to PIP and select the first photo. Make it full screen. And move it to the left side. The next step is to go to mask and use a linear mask, rotate it and place it at the right side. Then make sure you drag the shadow key to leave a shadow. Now drag the shadow key to create a shadow at the edge of the photo. Now the next step is to begin to add the text lyrics one after the other. So right now, Let's go to text and paste our lyrics. Now change the fonts to your preferred fonts. So for this, I'm going to use this font, Angel's Face. Now adjust the size and place it in your desired position. Now you can export the photo. Now let's create more of this template by going back and replacing the main photo I'm replacing the text so let's replace the photo with another one now adjust the position move it to the left side and adjust it very well now the next step is to edit the text clear the previous text and paste the new one there so let's put a line break there so that the text will fit the canvas perfect so let's export the photo so we can make more replica using this template so we need four of it now let's create a new video project with your background photo now select your background photo now this is the background photo so right now let's increase the duration go to duration and make it 21 seconds now the next step is to change the canvas to 9 by 16 so select 9 by 16 canvas then scale up the photo now the next step is to go to audio and add music you can select music from your phone library or from InShot music library so i will choose this music from my phone library and add it to the timeline so now on the audio the next step is to add beats to it so that we can identify the lyrics parts so let's play the music and add beats to each lyrics part Add beat. Add beat again. Add another beat right here. And I think finally the last beat. Okay, we still have one more beat to add for the last lyrics. Okay, that's it. So with this beat, we are able to identify each point. Go to PIP and add the first photo we saved. Make it full screen and clip it to the end of the video. Now let's adjust the length so that it starts from the first bit. So right now move the photo to the bottom so that it doesn't show anymore. Now add a keyframe. Now move to the next bit and move the photo to the top. So this keyframe will bring it from the bottom right to the top. Now let's see how it's going to look like. As you can see, the animation between the two keyframes is not smooth. So let's go to Ease and add Ease to make the animation smoother. Perfect. So the next step is to add the next photo that we saved earlier. Add the photo, make it full screen and make sure it starts from the next bit, then clip it to the end. Now move the photo to the bottom. 
then add a keyframe at the beginning. Add a keyframe, now move to the next bit, then move the photo right to the top. So it moves from the bottom to the top. Now let's see how it looks between the two keyframes. Now as you can see, the animation is not that smooth. So let's add ease to the animation. Select this one. Now we have a smoother animation. So let's repeat these steps for the next photos. So the next bit now, let's add the next photo. Select the next photo. Make it full screen then extend it to the end. So with the same procedure, over to the bottom, then add a keyframe at the beginning. So go to the next bit, then move the photo right to the top. As you can see, this will automatically add a keyframe to these parts. So as usual, let's add ease between the two keyframes so that we can have a smooth animation. So now go to ease and select this one again. Now for the final photo, go to PIP and add it again. Make it full screen and place it at the bottom. So add the keyframe and at the end, move it to the top. So this we add the keyframe at the end. Perfect. So let's add is between the two keyframes. Go to is and select this one. Now let's adjust the position for all the photos. So at the last keyframe for all the photos, move it to the top and adjust the position. So let's go to the next photo and adjust the position at the last keyframe. Move it to the top. The next photo now, last keyframe, move it to the top. Now the last photo, I think this one fits so we don't need to adjust the position. So right now we are done with all the steps. So let's see the final results. So thank you so much for watching the video all to the end. Hit the like button if you find this video helpful and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Much love I got for you guys and I will see you in the next video. Peace.